episode 77 and welcome in to the Metro Square podcast where we cover the best rivalry in all of sports we're doing a special episode today because we got a very special guest that we're really excited to have so um I'm gonna skip all the formalities and we're just gonna jump straight into it so now we'd like to welcome into the Benches clear podcast giants reliever jay jackson man thank you so much for coming on man oh no problem thanks for having me oh no it's a pleasure's all ours my guy um so i first thing when when, when i first you know heard your name when, when you first got picked up the first thing that goes through my mind is obviously the uh, the famous Jet Jackson, Jay Jackson reference. How many times do you get that reference? And is it kind of annoying at some point? Um, Not anymore. I used to get it when I was younger when it was a famous TV show. But a lot of people now don't remember it. So <laughs> Fuck. Okay, yeah. now, world. All right. No one's... Now, <laughs> now it's more like everybody's like action Jackson all the time just because it's like that's the first thing they think of. But like, yeah, everything's... Um, Jet Jackson was huge back then, though. I heard that so many oh, gotcha. times. I had I got tired of it because, especially like the Disney Channel was huge back then too. So every time right, I was in right. middle school or high school, people would just walk up to me like, "Hey, you going on any adventures today?" I'm like, "No." <laughs> like <laughs> that's a little about? creepy, but okay. That's <laughs> yeah, I'm like yeah, yeah. It, was, it was fun though. Like I'm glad I got out of that eventually, but yeah. Ah, nah, nah, I hear you. Um, but I mean, I think one of the most interesting things about your career, I mean, obviously the, the, the season you're having and the, and the start is, is really great, but you know, lo- looking back on your career, the most interesting thing to me is, is, is going to Japan twice. Um, you know, what was like, what's the biggest difference I think from, um, you know, playing in Japan and being in uh, major leagues out here? Um, I guess the style of baseball is a little different. I always tell people, and I believe it to be true. It's like, you have 27 outs regardless wherever you're playing it's 27 outs but just like the style of baseball over there just like they're not as power oriented obviously they're mm. traditional baseball moving guys over sacking here like every time i would come in the eighth inning if one guy got on especially the don't guy they're bunting or stealing on the second bunting on the third and then trying to figure it out you know what i mean right Where right here when was the last time you really saw a guy sack bunt everybody's trying to hit home runs like it's yeah. unless you're a stupid. pitcher right yeah which that's know, about to go <laughs> yeah you know baseball like we're even though we're playing it's still like the powers that be are trying to it's more entertainment value you know what i mean they want to see home runs they want to see strikeouts so like they're calling up guys a lot of times that aren't the old school guys that are just like hey we're gonna hit home run strike out and then now it's like well, pitchers are getting better too so you're striking out too much can't do that right let's change everything up we need more <laughs> runs like you know what i mean so it's just funny to see how it's working right and, and, and you, i think i'll go for it tyler <clears throat> So did you ever really notice, because I know the, the Japanese ball is a tiny bit smaller, right? Did, yeah. did, did that ever kind of play into anything? Did you really feel a difference with the ball being smaller? Um, Not really, because it's tacky, so you can get a good grip on it. Um, whereas here, the balls are a little bigger, but they're like cue balls, like when you first get them. Like, so like that's what right. people don't really understand is like, a lot of times, like, you'll see guys throw three or four pitches right in a row, like, dot it, and then it'll be, like, one, like, over somebody's head because, like, that dude fouled a ball off and they got a new ball. You have no grip on it whatsoever. So, I mean, right. the difference in balls, difference in play, like, it's – they're traditional baseball over there completely, whereas, like, here we're, we're advancing, we're getting more nuance, we're doing more things to, like, incorporate fans and trying to make it more modernized where over there it's still, hey, you're bunting – moving runners, backside hitting, like you got two or three guys in the lineup that might hurt you. Like, yeah. So the sticky, the sticky situation has kind of like died down a little bit since, you know, umpire started checking, but like you said, Japan's balls come pre-tacked. And I know you Darvish had like a bunch of balls sent over to San Diego for the clubhouse to kind of see, do you know what they use? Is it just, you know, I have no idea. It's just weird, too, because, like, when you get them, they come, like, in a, like, little plastic bag, like, individual plastic bags, and then inside the plastic bag, the ball's wrapped in foil, like, tin foil kind of. So it's, like, so it's a ball, and then there's ball wrapped, there's wrapped in tin foil, and then it's in, like, an individual plastic bag. So, like, the sanitation there is crazy. It's ridiculous. (laughs) I don't even know. I think that's to keep it, like, keep the tackiness on it, too. I think the foil and stuff. Right, right. It's weird. Like, but that's how all the balls came. I don't know what exactly they used, but, I mean, they were pretty, they were were good. You see a lot of guys out there use a ton of rosin, I think, because the balls might be too tacky for them them sometimes. Right. Interesting. Wow. 
That is interesting. I mean, I, one of the interesting things too that, that I found out that you did in Japan, you were um, uh, into a, a they, they let you into a what a, a wrestling crew for for the day. And uh, so what? what oh, was those that are all still my boys. Apart? Yeah, those are still my guys. Like um, <laughs> the the main guy of that wrestling like thing, because um, obviously wrestling in Japan is huge. So right. Um, but like the guy actually was good friends with one of my good friends and he would always come to this restaurant that I would eat at that my friend owned this bar that my friend would own. And every time he would come, they would call me because he was a huge Hiroshima carp fan. So mm-hmm. like, he would come and then see me and then blah, 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 we would talk. And then the last year I was there, they were doing a match in Hiroshima and they're like, yo, if you have time and you're done with the game or whatever, and we had an off day, I think like, wouldn't it be crazy if like you just came out and like joined the crew and became part of the group? I'm like, yeah, why not? Screw it. Like, they right, told me right. everything. And we went and met that with the producers sick. and stuff before, before, like right before the match. And they told them what was going to happen. They told me, and then it just happened. It was fun though. That was that was that was hilarious. So, because like, what I saw didn't show you like rest. Were you able to like get in and like and, and no, they wouldn't let stuff, me. Or you that. just kind of showed up and was like, was I good. showed up. I got to get in the ring. I got to um, introduce the guy. I got to watch the whole match like ringside, pretty much. And like the dude that the guy was wrestling actually was like taunting me and like like not spitting on me but like but like messing with me the whole time and stuff right, too. right right so we were like interacting and stuff too so it was fun and then you know he my guy ended up winning the match went back in the ring did our little thing and then it was it was awesome though i wish i would have got to be in so there and, and wrestle and stuff but i don't think they're not <laughs> they're not like the like america when it comes to that because like my guy had that that match i think he was getting hit with like uh chairs and the railing from like the stands and stuff like that. So he was getting hit with stuff. So I don't think they're going to let me in that one. <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. right. <laughs> I think that would void your contract with the, the carp at that point. If yeah, you're you know, in the chair. And... <laughs> like, Hey, I, yeah, I just came in to take some pictures. Why do you least. have a chair out right now? What's, what's is that for me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So was this like new Japan wrestling? Yeah. Like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. That um, I'm not a fan of wrestling, but New Japan wrestling is like another level. Yeah, like for those sure. dudes um, are crazy. I can. It's uh, what what's the group's name? Let me. I can find the group's name right quick. Let me. Find it was a Lij. That's what that's what the the news thing said. But I don't know yeah. what Lij stands for. <sighs> it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've been over there. How? Uh, I think it was. LJ. Naito. Naito was the guy that I was always hanging out with, and his crew is Los Ingonables de Japón. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Los Ingos. Yeah. Los yeah. In- that sounds very like Spanish. Because he went, okay. and, like, he, he started his like wrestling career in Mexico, I think. Oh, so shit. he went to Mexico okay. and became a luchador, and like so they like the, the, because the reason the reason like he does his whole eye thing is because like in Mexico like he's Japanese so his eyes are like really so they always like <laughs> open your eye. <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good shit. Man, Naito's oh, shit. like one of the biggest wrestlers from Japan. He's like the biggest wrestler in he was Japan. With, I think he was doing like Chris Jericho, like he was wrestling Chris Jericho. Yeah. Too. Yeah, yeah, that was like that's that was the Tokyo homie, like, Dome. I think I think I watched that at like three in the morning live because I have friends that are crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, like Naito's my guy. Like me and him would like literally like be in the bars together, hanging out. Like, like just I have videos of him like chopping people and stuff. Like him and his crew. Like I have pictures of all of them. like they were just my boys. Like we just would hang out, go to dinner and stuff a lot of times, and just chill. I knew like a lot of people over there. That's like sick. one of the biggest rappers over there is. Uh, AK sixty nine in Japan, and he's like my good friend too. I still have his number on my phone. <laughs> like, right, him, right, like it's just crazy. Like I met all those guys over there. It was fun. I was I had a blast over there. Damn. So, what That's was awesome. like the decision to 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 come back from from Japan, and maybe that even wasn't just the my... decision to go go to Japan. Decision to go was just I was with the Padres, and then I was in I was in Winter Ball actually because California taxes are trash. Um, <laughs> yeah, we know so, that. But, Jesus Christ. Um, so I was like, well, guess I gotta go to Winter Ball. So I went to Mexico and I was playing Winter Ball. My uh-huh. agent called me. He's like, Do you still want to go to Japan? I'm like, sure, why not? 
I'm like, what, right. like, what are the Padres saying? Like, what's the deal over there? He's like, well, they said they're going to use all your options regardless. So you're going to be up and down all year. I'm like, well, what's the deal with Japan? He's like, you're going to make league minimum guarantee. Plus you have a signing bonus and incentive. So I was like, I'm out. Like, right, I'm not going right, to go, right. I'm not going to go lose half my salary Later. and still have it in the minors just because I was like, well, you go back and tell the Padres that if they keep me up on the team all year, then I won't go to Japan, but they're going to actually like tell me like, Hey, they're going to use my options and stuff like that. Just whenever they want to, then just let me go. And finally they agreed to it. It took them like, I think two or three negotiations with the Japanese team to finally come to some terms to let me go. Then I finally left. Then that's, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to come back. Realistically, I wasn't trying to come back. Just all, all the stuff that happened in Japan, like with my, my son and then, um, the legal situation over there with like them like coming and searching my house and shit like my apartment over there and shit like I there's no point for me to even go back Andrew Baggerly did a, a report a whole article on it in the uh, athletic about it so I gotta give him credit he actually told, told my story really well um, okay. I don't want to tell it right now just because like it is a whole long drawn out like emotional type thing and that was like so that whole situation kind of brought me back. And then I just got lucky. I got came back halfway through the year last year, signed with the Reds, went to the alternate site with the Reds and Cincy, and mm-hmm. then just chilling during the offseason. I had like I had like 10 teams out of nowhere call me this offseason, which is the first time I had that many teams like interested in me ever. <laughs> and, right. and then I just got lucky and got here, had surgery in March, and then worked the way back. Yeah, that's I've I've always really been interested about why players actually go to certain places, right? Because there's so many reasons why, like writers and 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 you know analysts, they say why this person wants to go somewhere, and then later sometimes you know the players will say, oh, that, that's kind of bullshit. I had I didn't really have a preference to go, like yeah. you know this wasn't like where I was trying to go or whatever. So what was like the the reason you you came to San Francisco over you know I'm I'm always like wondering if it's oh something like huge or if it's just a thing of like oh man I just really like especially the food out there. if like, California you know? taxes are such shit you know I mean, San Francisco the is the most right. expensive place in California to live right all the places I was talking to really had terrible taxes <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't really help but I love I love the West Coast I feel like my vibe's more West Coast anyway. Um, okay. Like I said, I debuted with the Padres, and I, I kind of fell in love with the, just the people in San Diego down there, just the culture down there, and the weather. Like San right. Fran right now is kind of chilly. Yes. Like I can't, I can't do this shit right now, really. Right, right. right. Now, like, 50, 60 best. degrees right now, and I'm like, yo, I gotta wear hoodies and stuff. San Diego, I was down there every day, shorts and a tank top, no matter what time. Right. It was, four or seven. Nope. So I got into got, I got spoiled as that being my first big league team with just right. the weather and stuff not mm-hmm. the organization but the weather right 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 yeah right. but uh i ended up picking the i picked the giants because it was between them the nationals and the brewers and the brewers didn't want to the brewers were just being kind of a sticky situation again because i was with them before and then me and them didn't have like see eye to eye before i left anyway because when i went to japan the second time it was between at first the brewers in the Japanese team and we couldn't mm. come to an agreement because the Brewers were like, well, we don't want to pay you that much. And the Japanese team was like, well, we're going to pay you because we know how good hey, you are. We'll so, do it. Yeah, right, right, yeah. right. So I was like, well, can you meet them or come close? And the Brewers were like, nah, we can't do it. And then they went inside Justin Smoke and like three other guys for like five, six, seven million pieces. I was like, uh, all right, like, <laughs> sure. Right, like, right, cool, right. Like right. me, right? <laughs> So yeah, you, you did have them. Okay. All right. All right. So like, so I was talking to them and then Cap actually called me and Dave Martinez actually called me really? and I talked to both of them. And that's kind of what, that was actually kind of the determining factor was after I got off the phone with Cap. Like I talked to Cap and literally Dave Martinez called me like 20, 30 minutes late. Like, I think he tried mm-hmm. to call me while I was on the phone with Cap. I was like, yo, I'm actually in the middle of a phone call right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you when I'm done type thing. Right. So they right, both right. called me and just after having both conversations and just sitting down, I sat down for like a couple hours, talking to my family, just looked at the rosters, looked at like what my chances of making the team out of camp, like the money, the taxes, seeing how close I was to my family, seeing where I would be better suited and happier playing. You know what I mean? Just like, right. do I really want to be in DC? Like, yes. Yeah, if you're, if you're afraid of cold, DC no. might not be the best. Like not even the cold, like how like the climate and the is humidity in like, summer. How shit, like just how like people are in DC, like shit, just like things are crazy in DC all the time. Bro. Mm. And imagine what the yeah. thing that happened to me last week goes down in DC, like 
Right. Bruh, like, yeah. That would have been so, I mean, nuts. No, for like, sure. Like, it's still nuts, but like over there, like in DC, that, especially in the capital, like, right. That would have been a whole different type of thing I would have had to deal with. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And, and I didn't think about, I didn't think about that as much when I was making my decision, but just like I said, the conversation with Cap was just huge. Like, right. just gauging him, and talking to him, me and him talked for like 45 to an hour. Like, it was just mm. me and just chatting. I mean, he'll come do that stuff now. He'll just text me or something out of nowhere. I'm like, hey, you got a minute? All right. And then we'll just sit down and talk for like 30 minutes. I'm like, like, do you have shit to do? Like, yeah. <laughs> you're a manager. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, he right, should have right. just stayed. <laughs> Philadelphia should have just kept him. You know, <laughs> then I wouldn't have to be dealing with like the emotional shit that I have to deal with all <laughs> season. Do you guys winning ball games? It, God damn I mean, it. Yeah, he, his, his, <laughs> you can tell like the, he keeps the, the vibe in the clubhouse really good. I mean, you gotta think about I, Dave Roberts was my bench manager when I was with the Padres. Jeez, like I know that. I know. Yeah. I know. I know Doc over there too. We're cool. Like I've been playing yeah, so long now. Long as long as I, I mean, Dave. Coaching. Dave seems like, yeah. Dave seems like a great players manager, but Gabe Kapler also seems just like a guy, like you said, likes to keep it loose. He seems just like you were saying, a guy to come up and just talk to you and shoot the shit. Yeah. And he's a young he dude, relatively speaking. He seems he's like a great, great player manager. He he's been great for this team just because of the different all the different like bodies we have there, especially how young some of the guys have been there. And like, you know, you see, like back in the day when we were first coming up, I tell people this a lot. Like the game's changed, obviously, but like it wasn't so much like encouragement, like back in the day. It was harsh like encouragement. Like if you give up three runs, like, hey, you should have gave up two. Like, you know what I mean? Right now, like with the way things are, like Gabe and the front office and the way they support people, like you can have a bad outing, but as long as it's not consistent bad outings, they're not saying anything much. You know what I mean? Right. So it's like, hey, we got your back. Like we love you. Like we know what you can do. You had a bump in the road. Like, like we get it. Like you're gonna have these days. Like keep running. Like we got you. Don't worry about it. If you don't, if you don't step up, someone else will step up for you. And we know you're gonna pick them up when you come through too. So it's nice to have that. Like you don't like right. coming yeah. from the Cubs system when I first got drafted. So that is huge. <laughs> Like so, did someone yeah, come up to you and tell you? If you're you, on the other side of Chicago with Tony Larusa right now, you're probably gonna get that yeah. old school like. Jesus, I don't know why I went. Yeah, want to play there, but you but saw how like all the guys there. came out at first. They were like, they're like, we're not like, yeah, we're not, we're not changing nothing. Like he's got to come into our locker room at this point. Like, and that's how yeah. that's how they had to be because like, right? Tony Larusa can change the whole dynamic of stuff. Like that's that's a big name. That's a big like personality to come do anything. You know what I mean? Big ego, and, yeah, like, big he, resume. He, de- yeah. he deserves it because he's won. He's got the respect. He's, he's played. He's done everything you could ask a man to do. So I mean, but as a team, like if you're vibing and you feel like you have a chance to win, but you don't need somebody to come change the whole culture, you you have to stand up as a crew. Like you know what I mean? That's that's tough to do. Yeah. Like that dude's yeah. deciding your future a little bit. Right. Yeah. Right. Shit. Yeah, so like talking about like how when you know they're they're picking you up if you have like a bad out, like did anyone come up to you and tell you how much of a bullshit triple that was in Milwaukee? Like everybody did. Did they? Okay. Everybody. I, <laughs> I was pissed off because of it, but I was more pissed off because I gave up the run because I was like, whatever. But like I was just like, how did that ball even fall in? Like right. Whatever. Like whatever. And everybody's like, don't worry about it. And I was like, I was like, that would be. I'm feeling good again, finally. Like, everything's working. Like, I wasn't throwing right. bad pitches. And then, oh, lo and behold, this happens again. Like, even yeah, the game against bullet, Arizona. Bullshit, right? Yeah, even that game against Arizona. Like, a couple bounces here and there. I'm out of inning with a double play ball to Solano. It was right. already a ball. It was a double play ball if he makes it. You know what I mean? The ball down the line to Bryant. Like, if it doesn't take him down to the corner of the line, he can step on third and get a double play. Like, I'm out of inning with no run Z. It's just – but that's baseball. You just, exactly, you just go right. with it. Just go with Sometimes it, just, it just it just falls in. I mean, that's and that's all you could do is just try to give up weak contact and and you know trying to get those ground balls. But I mean, and to go back to that that issue that, that you went into, I know it's really easy for a lot of people to you know you know comment to you and tell you like, hey, don't worry about trolls and you know this and that. But it's like w- when you see that kind of stuff, especially you know, being not in that generation of when you say foul shit, you know, and you, you can't punch someone in the mouth, like, like what, what mentality does that kind of put you in? It's just, like I said, when I had the first interview with it, it's for me, like I grew up in the South, I grew up in South Carolina. And that's number one. Number two, I played baseball. 
I'm a black right, guy playing right. baseball. Yeah. Number three, I was a black guy playing baseball in the middle of nowhere in South Carolina, in like the sticks and backcountry things, because like that's just like the guys that it wasn't like you had little league fields, but AU ball, you're going off in the middle of nowhere to play people and stuff. So those people don't have any sense of anything. So and plus, I was pretty good, so they hated that I was good too. Right, and right, I was right. white, yeah. so <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, heard, I heard a lot of stuff. Like, I mean, I remember like in high school, me and one of my guys playing basketball. We were only because I went to a private school, like a, a kind of private school for high school, and we played a mm-hmm. bunch of public schools and stuff like that. And we were only two black guys on our basketball team. We were blowing this team out by like 31 game, didn't even play the fourth quarter. We had their fans behind us telling about they were going to jump us after the game and hang us and all types of stuff. And like, we were just sitting there like Jesus in high school, like, like, like y'all are just going to let this happen. Like and our coach yeah, is like, Yo, like you got to kick them out, blah, blah, blah. And like they had security come take us to the, like, so I've been dealing with it for a while. Like I go back right. to one of my ex-girlfriends in high school, her parents met my parents in a Wendy's parking lot at midnight. Cause they thought that like we were dating or something like that. Like that, like I had sent her like some crazy like poems where, the poem they got mad over was written by somebody else. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, it was like, but like, if I wouldn't have been like a black guy, that probably wouldn't have happened. Like, you know what I mean? So, right. Yeah. So it's just, you know, you just, for me, I like to, I try to make it as productive and positive as possible. Cause I mean, everybody's going to have their own opinions. The only thing I can do is control my reaction. Like you can come at me as much right. as you want to, but the worst you can do is do something that's going to make you look bad. Like to the most part, like if I react in a bad way, nobody's going to remember what you did to me. They're just going to remember how I reacted in the first. Exactly. Right. So it just, it sucks, <laughs> especially in the position I'm in at this point now. And I have been for a while. Like if I react in any type of way possible, it's going to get blown up. Just like the whole thing that happened with Brinson yesterday. And then it comes out today that the dude was saying dinger. Like, right. Yeah. You know, I posted on my Twitter a retweet of something else that somebody else said about, like, how the Giants supported me and the, the Rockies to do the same thing. And then I got a whole bunch of comments from people. You're an asshole. You need to delete your retweet. Like, screw you. Like, this is what's wrong. Like, oh, you're being white and all this stuff. You're saying stuff before you know the facts and all this stuff. I was like, I didn't even comment on it. Like, I didn't even put, like, any of my words to it. Like, I right. just retweeted what somebody else had retweeted. And then today, once I found out what happened, I said, hey, you know what? I apologize if what I retweeted caused some anger between other people and other people. Not that like I'm apologizing for retweeting it, but like if there's any animosity or anything, but if the guy didn't say it and he has no malice in his heart, then we're good. Like you live and you learn, like it's a misunderstanding, like keep it moving. Yeah. Like people just snap. But, but, I'm like, like, what, like what the is the thing, thing is like it, it it sound it didn't first of all, I mean it, it didn't sound, sound like he was saying dinger. For, not yeah, at all. when you, you heard that, be, all, you right? should be yeah. fucking. Not but that's the thing is, you should be fucking mad about it. And then when it comes out, when it you know you see the stupid mascot, which is dumb. Mascots are dumb. Seal, <laughs> you, know, you guys have a seal. It's dumb in the first place. Shut you up, see bitch. the mascot, and you see the guy, and then like once you get the whole story, yeah, you can kind of put it together. But that's it. But you should be mad at the beginning. Yeah, yeah it should for be like, sure. what, what did you just when, say? Oh no, okay. All because right, that's fine. all you, know, you have. Like, if, My, if, if it came out, if the whole video came out at the beginning and you could like deduce, okay, he's seen Dinger, exactly. then yeah, it would be kind of weird if you're trying to push that narrative of like he wasn't. But what was surfaced at first made it seem like he wasn't. Exactly. And that was what so that that's what I make tried. you fucking mad. And that's what I tell people all the time. You can't tell me as a black person, African-American, you can't tell a Latin person or an Asian person, like if you come up with them with a derogatory term, even if like it sounds like it from a distance, like you can't tell them right. how to react because you don't know what they've been through. Yeah. Like right, I'll never go up to go up to a Latin person and call them like something derogatory that they hate that I might not know. Like, and then right. they flip out and I would be like, well, you should have got mad because I didn't like, no, I'm like, yo, like, my bad no, for saying it. Like, that's it. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah that's you I can't did, tell someone how to feel. Exactly. Even if I didn't like say it like completely, like it, they misheard me. I'm like, oh my bad. I didn't even know it was that serious. Like, I'm gonna say my bad because like yeah. that's something that like that's you, how you feel about it. Like that's your feelings. That's- first of all, like I'm not involved in that. But like if I had something yeah. to do to involve that, like that's my bad. Like because one thing I never want to do is criticize mm-hmm. somebody else's feelings because it's theirs. Like. It doesn't have shit to do with me. <laughs> and right. it's, they have, they like have the right to feel like, however they want. Right. Yeah. It's not even like a thing with feelings, too. It, in, in my opinion, because like if I hear something 
you know, I'm, I'm walking around or whatever, and I hear something close to Beaner or something, and I'm turning around like, wait, yeah, what the fuck? fuck? And then, yeah, and then exactly, it's like, right? yeah. that's what I'm saying. And then, then it's like, oh, no, I said this, or oh, no, even, even if it wasn't even racial, even if it wasn't yeah. even racial, you hear like, fuck you, and you're like, turn around like, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, no, I was talking to my friend who's right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my bad. No, it's cool. Yeah, exactly. And, and they're like, my bad, right? And they're like, my bad, yeah. right? Like, exactly. And then not, you're like, oh, hey, no, we're good. We're good. And oh, you walk away. Like, that's you it. Should I, did, I felt like I did what I should have did, like, as just a normal human being, as a as a nice person. Like, you know what I mean? I made a mistake. Hey, yeah. you know what? I apologize. Most people don't even take time to apologize nowadays. And right. I'm getting criticized for apologizing. Like, what? Like, what's the world coming to in that aspect? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't even do yeah. anything to hurt anybody. But you're telling, like, you're calling me out of my name and stuff again. Like, people are like, and it's just sad because I mean, you fighting, were... calling people cunts and like all types of stuff going on and on, like right. liberal, kind of, like bringing politics well, but... into it. Now I'm like, it's not that serious. Like, what are you like? What are you at the keyboard so like butthurt about? That's like you, you right. tell your views to everybody. Like, you can go yeah. in the mirror and do that. You can go yell right. at yourself in the mirror, and then did you get it out? Okay, let's start. And it's back not over. like it's. It's it's not, and I hate to say that it's that it's a normal thing, but it happens. I mean, obviously, what you just went through last week, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's not crazy out of mind that this is like this. How could this ever happen in the world? It's like, bitch, this just happened last week. But do you see the difference though? Like yeah. the difference is like how, like again, like to me, it's kind of funny how like they only make it noticeable to, for certain things, though. You know what I mean? Like mine should have been huge too. Mine should have been everywhere. Nobody even knew about yeah. mine except for like the giants, like a certain, like a few people. This happens right. is everywhere because all of a sudden the players' alliance is in it. MLB's writing about it, all this stuff. They never did that with me. It's because it's Lewis Brinson and it's it's a bigger name guy, probably. Like and it, it's mm. bigger, but mm. my thing should have been just as big for like just for the purpose of MLB. You know what I mean? To get this out to like try to help people understand like. This like you can't tell our athletes these things. Like you're, we're here right, doing right, the best right. we can, and we're humans. Like I don't go to somebody else's job. I don't go to McDonald's and tell this person, "Hey, like if I don't know how to make fries, hey, you suck. Burger King's better. Like you should make your fries like Burger King and shit." Like I don't go do that to them because like I don't know like what yeah. they go through. Like I'm not gonna go disrespect your profession and your job and call you out of your name, especially like. Right. Okay. First of all, if I go to McDonald's and I get mad at the people at McDonald's, it's because they're doing something stupid. And I can probably do that. <laughs> I can go right, like, right, put, right, right. put the cup under the thing myself. It doesn't take 10 minutes for me to do it. Like, hey, like, but like playing baseball and giving up runs, like we're professionals. Like there's only in the whole history of the game, there's only been like 21,000 of us like right. ever. So mm -hmm. well, for it's so crazy. It's so crazy because I like I saw some some article came out this past week that like 60 percent of American men think that they could compete in either a winter or Olympic sport right now, which is fucking insane. Do you think like Olympic baseball, <laughs> Olympic basketball, like are you think you can go play with Kevin Durant? Are you out of your fucking mind? So, like, it's it, crazy like, what, it what people say, especially like, like I, I've seen, and I hate, I don't want to get, you know, talk about a certain side in political, but people get mad about certain athletes for speaking out for what they believe in, you know, and you want to parade around how like we're a free country, but then when someone actually like speaks their mind, they get, you know, hated on. And then they talk shit about them because they want a bronze medal. How are you going to talk shit about someone when you're saying you're the third best in the world? In the, in the That's world. insane to me. For the Olympics the is world. insane. Yeah. Like, first of all, I'll put it like this. When people like say, I can do this. I'm like, okay, DK Metcalf is one of the fastest wide receivers in the NFL. Like you saw him hawk down your boy last year, like ran a hundred yards and caught him. This man right. didn't even make it in the top five in the qualifying, like for sprinters. Yeah, but you think you can run? <laughs> like, like Gosh. it's like if, if you really like thought that you like would be nine. there. Exactly. And first of all, that's that's number one. That's what I always like right. when people start going off. I'm like. If you really thought you were that good, you would be where I'm at, or at least you would have tried to get to where I'm at. And the fact that you yeah. didn't even get to like, like, oh, I played high school baseball. Everybody played high school baseball, like depending on where you yeah. went. Like, if you probably had a hundred people in your city, and everybody was on the even, baseball team. <laughs> it's <laughs> not even high school. I've had friends that played college baseball, and they like while they're playing college baseball, they know there's no chance of them even making mm -hmm. a low A team. 
Yeah, and they're playing college. So the high school baseball argument is hilarious because there's guys that play D3 college ball that can't even play rookie ball. Exactly. And you but have those guys, guys thinking they can play major league baseball. It's out of telling us what to do. It's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah us, right. Hey, do this. You should do, this is the worst team in the league. You lost me money. Like, hey, you don't think if I pitch bad and I get sent down, I lose myself money? I lost more money yeah, than right. me getting sent down than you just lost on this <laughs> stupid game. This is my <laughs> career. This is how like, I make money uh, for my yeah. family. Like, oh, you you lost two thousand dollars on a bet. Like, I just got sit down for the next two weeks. I just lost seventy thousand dollars. Like, what do you want me to say? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's I. That's why I can't stand it when like certain writers like to say things. You know, I'm not really writers. I, I feel like a lot of like you know analysts on TV they'll say mm-hmm. things like you know, oh, they just didn't want it that much, or they just didn't. Like, that's got to be like the dumbest shit. This isn't some fucking Disney Channel original movie. You know, where it's like you just got to want it. And you, that's part of it, obviously. Everybody wants it, whether it be to, to win a championship, whether to make money. No one wants to go down to the minor leagues. No. Like, this is just <laughs> fucking insanity. And, like, that's why normally I don't listen to writers half the time because mm. I don't listen to writers or commentators normally unless, like, those are guys that, like, went through, like, enough of this struggle to be like, hey, like, we can critique you, like, because like we've been here, like the guys on MLB Network right now, like if they're if they call me I'm like, hey, you need to like this is what we're seeing like from like some of the shit you're doing, I'd be like, like I can I can take that. I'm gonna have more criticism of that than somebody that's behind a keyboard or yeah, just random people exactly. like, hey, you should throw more sliders. Like <laughs> what? Yeah, if it's Pedro, it's a little different than yeah, you, you, know, you know user number three zero zero four. Like, like do you know how hard it is to throw a strike? Like, oh, yeah. well, yeah. you come do this real quick. Like, have you tried right. giving up less runs? Maybe you should give up less runs. Yeah, that right. Help. Better. Yeah. I just watched that and last night. Yeah. Oh, good movie. Um, I I just do do those comments kind of make it into the locker room, like like you know, because there there's a lot of talk of the Giants being, you know, at first it was schedule. And then it was pretenders, and now it's the luckiest team in base. But like all the things that people say, like does that get like made into a joke in the locker room, or is it just not even discussed? I mean, but you you see that every year with at least one or two teams, though. You right, know what right, I mean? Right. So we're, we've all played long enough. We've all played on probably one or two of those teams too. That's just been like it's a vibe. Like we're just chilling. Like they can say whatever we want, but like we're just playing baseball. Like at the end of the day, like right. Baseball is going to swing either way. You're going to win or lose every day anyway. Uh, it's mm-hmm. just going to be who's more consistent. And like, again, we've just had a really consistent year. I mean, we haven't had as many. We've had some big injuries. Other teams have had some big injuries. Our team's just been grinding and cutting it out and playing good baseball, like, consistently throughout the year, where everybody, for, it seems like, has been going, like, up and down, like, things like that. We've just been kind of floating along Steady. and staying ahead of water. And it's been nice. Like, everybody's, like, before, like, everybody's been picking each other up. And that's what you see out of good teams. Like, last year you saw with the Dodgers, even though it was short season, people were picking each other up. Every World Series team you see, every playoff team you see, guys throughout the year, like, Gosman had those couple bad starts recently. We picked them up, right? We only lost, I think, one of them or something like that. Picked them mm-hmm. up. Started having bad starts. Guys are picking them up, giving up a lot of runs. Offense is picking us up. When we're standing close games, the offense isn't scoring. You saw it in Milwaukee. Offense was getting shut down. We found a way mm-hmm. to grind it out. Bullpen pitching helped keep us in there. Defense helped keep us in there. And that's just how we've been all year. If one thing's not working, something else is picking it up. And that's just how you get lucky sometimes. Because a lot of times it doesn't work like that. You know, One thing will be dropping and other things not picking it all the way up. It'll pick it up part of the way. But you'll have three or four games out of ten that are just bad. And then those middle games that – you know, you could be picking each other up. You might lose two or three of those too. You know what I'm saying? So instead of being mm-hmm. seven and three over a 10 game span, you're three and seven because of those middle games, just because you're just being inconsistent. You know what I mean? So I just feel like we've just been floating along and it's been fun. Like the vibe in the locker room has been unbelievable. Like it's, mm-hmm. they, oh, he oh, really it's put been, that team together fun. really well. <laughs> it's been fun what? for you guys. Can I just say one thing before we move say on? It. I, have I love thing. to hear you cry. So please we, say it. We, <laughs> I've never watched as many Giant games as I have this year. I just feel like I'm watching the Giants every goddamn day. So when I turn on the game, I will give you that triple was an unlucky triple. It was a bullshit triple. But then you guys get that bullshit fly ball. So let's not <laughs> pretend that you're not lucky. 
in well, certain timeout. circumstances. It that evens out. was time out, right? Listen, it evens out. A routine five out. That is a it routine. And I know we just talked about guys saying, like, oh, Listen. I can do that. I could have caught that ball, and I mean oh, that. Shit. I could have caught that ball. It, even, hey, it, 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 out, though. it, even, it right. evens out because Garcia's home run that he hit the game before oh was the God. most bullshit thing in the world. Oh, one two, one handed, and no, it, no one thought that was a home run off the bat. Nobody. And that was a good thing. Once. So, so how is that? Bull, how is that bullshit though? It's a home run. The it's ball bullshit. traveled over the fence. It wasn't like oh, it was a juice ball. Like there was only one juice ball. I don't know. It's bullshit though. That, that's all I know. I don't know. I'm not. A I'm just saying. It was, it was, as it was a, a fan, home. it was. He he did not. He that ball should have not been hit as well as it was. There is there yeah. that that should have not been as, okay. as well as it was. Right. Like, it, 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 like, however, you guys want to lie to yourself. That's that, fine. But, the fly ball that Garcia missed, same thing. Like it wasn't hit as well. Like I didn't think that ball should have been like against the fence. Like On when he hit, it, I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, the ball's just a routine pop fly. I was walking. I was ready to like pack my stuff up, and then they're like, he's at the wall. I'm like, is that ball going out? Like, <laughs> yeah, right. I'm just right. saying, just... as a, it's so frustrating as a Dodger fan because I will give you guys the credit. I never feel comfortable looking at a box score and being like, okay, the Giants are down by three in the seventh inning. I never feel comfortable like, okay, the game's over. So mm-hmm. I've watched so many games, and you guys just find a fucking way every single time. And it's driving me God, insane. I just love I love but the way when, when you say that. But, when you, see dirty, that, geez. but you see but when you see honestly, when you see that out of teams, think about like all the teams you've really seen that out of. Those are the really good teams. Like that are fighting. I know, back. and I hate they it. Don't, they don't give up. Like you'll see a lot of teams just shut it down. Like, ah, oh, we gave a four in the five, in the four. Like, you know what I mean? Like, our guys are just like, we're just, all right, we'll get them. <laughs> Don't worry. I know they're, they're not I, scared of anybody. Like, it's unbelievable. It's like, we're, everybody's so everybody's so comfortable and just like we're so like the vibe is so good that everybody's just like we're good. Don't worry about it. Well, like, yeah. Anything, even, like, anything, even, anything bad happens during the game, like don't worry about it. We'll get it later. Like, cause Yaz has been struggling a good bit lately, right? Like, not like he's been struggling, he's been but like, he's been he's been frustrated a lot. And so I'll, like, mm-hmm. he'll come in, like God, like I'm like, bro, you already know what it is. You're gonna get another bat. Just stop, chill, go make the next one. Like, go get the next. Like, he'll relax. The next thing you know, he'll get knocked in like the seventh inning, right? <laughs> or right. Get a home run in like the eight. Like it's, it's that's just how the team is. Like he'll get frustrated. Somehow I'll just be like, it's just those couple words. That gets you locked back in, like that you might need to hear from somebody, you know. So you're not stressed mm-hmm. out. You're not taking that at bat into the next one. You're not taking that next pitch into the next one. You're not taking that next that inning to the next one. Or you're not taking that at bat into the field and making an error and costing the team. You know, like the team's so comfortable and confident they're like, "Hey, it's cool. Like, make a mistake, we'll get it later. We'll 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 got your back. Don't worry about it." So it's nice. It's really nice right now. And- What's what's it like, you know, like kind of like going going into the trade deadline and, and, you know, is it kind of like, you know, hoping to get to get someone and then finally, you know, find out that, you know, Chris Bryant's coming over. What's kind of like the the vibe like, you know, the, the next day when you know who he's coming in? It was funny because like that day, like nobody like nothing had happened. Right. Like so everybody's like all these like Padres making moves, Dodgers making huge moves. We're sitting here like like I guess like the, fir- the first thing I said when I walked in the locker, I was like. I guess they trust us to get this done this year, huh? It's like, I guess we're not getting anybody. Else. Like, we're good. No, we all felt the same way. We were cool with it. Everybody was right. fine. We were like, yo, we got it. Like, they, like that shows that Farhan trusts us. We're good. And that's a huge, that, that's a huge thing for a clubhouse, too. Though. You don't really? get anybody in your first place. And you're in first, I mean, we're in first place. Like, we're in first place. Yeah, like, stay you, the can't, you, can't yeah, go, right. you can't go any higher right now, right? Like, right, you right. Can't go any higher. Like, you can add pieces to us, but those pieces got to fit because we're in first. A bad piece can make, make a first place team, yeah, like crumble. Whereas, yeah, so, so yeah, like we're right. all we're literally all in there. Like, I guess they trust us. Like, we're riding. Like, we're good right now. And then we kind of feared that like we had a chance to get Chris, and we were like, all right, like that was like the whole play. Like everybody was thinking of anyway. And then right. like when it finally came down, like we we're like, oh, we're good. But yeah, <laughs> and, and we got and we got Wadi too, so it was like we're, we're yeah, super, we're good. Tone Ranger dude. too. I loved I loved his, his his his. He probably has my favorite um players weekend jersey, the the Tone Ranger. I'm guessing it's it's a it's a reference to the breakup, but I I, I don't know. But that's probably one of my favorite scenes in the movie. So, um yeah, excited excited that he's he's back on the yeah. team. He, he's my new, to be my new right now. So yeah, is he really? Oh, yeah, I mean me well, and him just, were in Pittsburgh together too. So, so I've been I've been all around this net. Like, 
me and him were in spring training with the Pirates together in what? 14, 14, 2014. Mm. I already knew him. So me and Dunn are already. Yeah. yeah. Well, let him know that I love him if you could. Mm. Um, that, that'd be great. Uh, mm-hmm. But also, it's speaking about clothing, um, you're, you're, and I know a lot of players don't really have like clothing lines and stuff. And like, so where, where did that kind of like get started and, and kind of, you know, get going? The story behind it is like, I was in Japan and I was actually, I saw one of our guys had like a little like logo, like on his stuff at the stadium one day. And I was like, yo, like who made that for you? Like, that's kind of cool. Like it's like a nice logo just so like you could have like your stuff notes to your stuff kind of right. thing. And I was like, kind of cool. Like who made this? Like, All oh, this dude made it for me. I'm like, Oh, can you ask me if he'll make me one? Like, it'd be kind of cool. It was like the end of the year. <laughs> we were about to, like we were winning the championship. Thing. It was like, it'd be kind of cool. to have like my own little thing anyway, if he would make me <laughs> right, one, right. whatever. No, it actually started by a kanji because everybody has like their own nicknames. And then like he made a kanji for a guy. And then I was like, oh, that kanji is kind of tight. Like, what's it mean? And it meant something like specifically for that person. And then I was like, oh, can you make me a kanji? Because like they give them like framed and everything like that, like calligraphy and stuff. Like I was like, can you make me one? And he was like, yeah, I think I can find you one. And then they came up with the Jackson smile or whatever. So they gave me the smile kanji and all this stuff. And then when he showed me the kanji he's like i've been messing around with some stuff too and like showed me the logo which is actually what i'm wearing the jj with the beard right, and right. the smile or whatever and i was like bro that's tight like can you make some shirts with it and so i just got like 20 shirts for, like me and my crew of friends in japan because like i had made some friends that were like all mixed and stuff like that so like they would just start rocking them around town and stuff and we were winning and it was like what's that next thing i know i got an order for like 150 of them or something like that, like t-shirts. And I was like, wow, oh, maybe I can turn this into something crazy. And then the whole clothing line started over there. I changed it from just the smile logo into Jack's land. And then we had a different logo for that. And then once I came back here, I just, I literally spent three months just revamping everything during the off season. Like uh, mm-hmm. while I was at home, when I was in my apartment, I would go to, um, I had an office near my dad's office that, well, actually in his office, um, I would go in there and just work on it. Me, my designers, we would just collab for like three months. And then we finally came up with it. And then we restarted it over here in America. And it's, it's fun. I love it. Cause it's, it gives me something to do and I don't have to wear, I don't have to go spend like hundred bucks, 200 bucks on like shirts or jackets. <laughs> I, don't wear. Like, I can just go make right, it myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I can right, like, right, yeah. if I like it, I can put it on the website and then like maybe other people like it. If you want to buy it, you can buy it. Like, you know what I mean? So like yeah. I actually just got some, I just got some new stuff in today, actually, for the clubhouse. It was awesome. I was happy. Really? I got my, yeah. Um I got two pairs of sweatpants, another sweatshirt because I just you got it right to, there. You could show it. You want to show it up? I got I got the sample somewhere here. I still can't get over that fly ball. <laughs> I'm just saying. He's still talking about the fly ball. He, just, he, thought, he thought you couldn't hear him. God damn he said, it. <laughs> no, these are the news. These are the news. Like the game. So okay, it's all yeah. black with in smiles we trust on the leg and then the smile on the back. And then the Jackson logo on the pocket. And then nice. I made the matching I made the matching hoodie to go Is that with a just hoodie a, or crew it's neck. A, it's a hoodie. It's a hoodie. Just to see just to see how how it works and that's slanted on the back and then these are my personal sweatpants just because had to get the orange for for the giants right 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 had i mean you didn't for, have the, to, for, the tra- but, for the travel wear but you did um, and i have these hats i have these hats online too already um right i think of the, the hoodie i was just wearing before i got on here too i forgot that's actually on there so that's and, that's also yeah. like why you couldn't you couldn't go to like you know New York you couldn't play for the Yankees because then you have to shave off the beard and then the the that's also why I will never go to the Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm really glad the you Yankees, brought that the up. The Yankees and then the Giants and the Giants in uh, Tokyo they make you shave too. So oh really? And I, I was actually yeah the guy who's the guy who's supposed to be taking over as manager in the next couple of years. I actually played against and he's like, well, when I become manager like. You wait and like you still want to play over here, I might be able to get you back over here. I'm like, um, are we gonna talk about this beard policy? Like, yeah, I'm not coming if I gotta do that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not trying to look 12 years old. Fuck that, bro. I can't that do that. Just I, seems I did, so, I did it one so time. archaic and old. I haven't, I shaved, I had to shave, shave my whole beard off. The last time I did was, I think, 2012. I shaved it, I shaved everything because like I, I got sent to the miners. 
and they had a no they had a no beard they had a mustache only policy in the minors so <laughs> minor team shit yeah so like who do you think you are was like you you know that that scene uh denzel has i forgot when he shaved like he changes his appearance i forgot what movie it was and he's like staring in the mirror and all of a sudden he's just shaving and then it looks like a completely different person after it that's right. how it felt like i was in the mirror and i was like shaving everything off and i just had a mustache i was just like no nah. and then i was like god i look like 14 years old i was yeah, like this is embarrassing i, like like, I don't want to go out right the house <laughs> i was like i didn't, I didn't go out the house for like two days <laughs> well wait, like, luckily like you don't have to worry about shadow or something See, Jesse and I have to have facial hair or else, you know, the double chin starts coming a little bit. Right, right. You don't have to worry about that. If I if I was in shape and fit, I'd be clean shaven all the time. Just no, no. Like, I can't. I can't do it. Like, and plus, ladies like beards more. I've come to find that out. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's well, I don't know. My fiance doesn't like me shaving, but I also think because it's like secretly she's like, you look fat. <laughs> when you shave so like just just keep everything the way it is no, can you like for some not? reason girl girls like touching your face so whatever they're into girls like touching faces i don't know what it is but they they have it that's i mean it's cool like whatever but some girls like having like stuff the rub against and the other girls just like i guess the uh, fill of a baby's bottom on the face i don't know yeah <laughs> that's, I, and I, those I, women are called psychopaths yeah. <laughs> is that weird <laughs> I, I mean, I, I've got a few on my list already. Got a few seconds. Right, right not trying to add to it. I, I'm that, not that trying doesn't... to anymore. Oh my god, I'm not trying to. I'm still doing my. Again, once you read that article. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I'm ang- yeah. I'm anxious when when we're done to get on the athletic and check it out. Yeah, send me a message after you read it. It'll. it'll You'll either be really happy or really sad after. Well, you'll probably be both. But it's it's a lot of up and downs in it. Like Bags did a really good job on that article. So I want to definitely mm. give a shout out and credit to him because he did tell that story unbelievably well. And mm. my definitely. everybody's yeah, ready I, so I, I really, I really like his shit. Every, he's, he's he's yeah, he's really good, really good to everybody to, that's uh, read it so far. Like it's it's touched him a little bit. So I'm I'm glad he wrote it. He wrote it as well as he did. And He's one of the few people that even knew about that stuff, which was crazy. And then he went and researched, like he did an unbelievable job with the information he got and how he wrote it and just researched it and just his points on it. It was. Does he contact you before he writes this though? Like to have kind of a, a conversation did, about it to get more an info or. Yeah, we did an interview. We did a whole interview. Um, he asked me everything, just same thing, just like what I want to get into. If there's stuff I don't want to talk about. And I told him like, no, nah, we're good. And then. He didn't send it to me. I read it, um, and then reading it, like he he did it justice. Like you know how sometimes like you can go through that, and then you'll see the interview after, and be like you went bullshit, way yeah, left right. than like I wanted to go. You missed like, this, he, this, this, and that. Yeah, you know what I mean. He did a really good job. There's only like one thing on there. I think it was um, just the location of what happened uh, in Japan. It wasn't. It was after the game, but it wasn't at the stadium. That's the only thing that mm. was wrong in there. But other than that, he did an unbelievable job. Jackson, I mean, Jay, I mean, this has been great, man. I, I Jack think you, Jay, Jay, yeah, maybe Jack Jackson has been really great to finally meet you. I've been waiting for this my entire life. Um, no, man, but we, we really appreciate you taking out the time. Um, you know, I, I know you're busy, but before we we bounce out, we, we usually like to do these things with our guests. We call them like softball questions, kind of like rapid yeah. fire. We yeah. kind of slow toss it, but if because you know, if you come out of pocket on something, we might have to check you. <laughs> And this is great because usually some of the guys, some of like the minor league guys we have on here are like 20 years old. So they don't right. even know what the fuck we're talking about half the time. So to get someone close to our age who's going to understand this stuff yeah. is great. Yeah. I'm, I'm super good. excited. Yeah, let's go. All right. So you, you, you guys have like walkout songs for pitching. Do you, would you change it if you, if you were hitting? Like, do you, have, would you have a second one? I probably would. Okay. And what would, would that song be? Um, right now it would probably be Penguins by Young Dolph. My walkout now is actually a Bay Rapper, so oh, okay. What is it? Guac who is it? 4, Jesus Christ, I don't know who that is. I thought you were exactly. gonna say like yeah, Guap Dad 4000 or something. Either. It's Guap Dad 4000. The song's called How Many. It's the remix with Rick Ross. Okay, hmm. sounds... you'll, you'll um, know Rick so... Ross, everybody knows, Rick yeah, Ross. exactly. Right, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm more you, of a, a 90s hip hop kind of guy. 
Touche. I know he doesn't. He doesn't look like it, but he yeah. he he also listens to Instinct. Yeah. But also, <laughs> you got you got you got a home run against anyone in the league. It could be you know before or after. Um, and you also get to strike out anyone in the league. Who are those people? And you got to remember, this is a 500 foot home run, so you got to pimp the thing. A 500 foot home run off of anybody. Anybody. If I could, it would probably be. Oh my god! There's a couple guys that I'm like thinking about in my head right now that just pop off. Oh, Shout them all out. We got time. I would love. I would love yeah. to hit, hit yeah. off Pedro just to see his reaction after that. Uh-huh. Pedro would be in there. Okay. Um, Randy Johnson would be in there. Um, Sh- Schilling would be in there, and Clemens. Clemens mainly just because like his reaction to everything was awesome. Yeah, right, watching right, right. him like get pissed off after somebody got a hit off of him like it it's like one of the things that like i i felt the same way when i was growing up or throw a and, bat at someone when they're going down the line you know whatever right 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 oh uh, and to strike out oh uh, let's see should strike out ted williams wow <clears throat> that's the, that's he has, he has the right the answer best i have all the time right that's the right answer right right Jeez. best i have all the time him or him or trout I haven't faced Trout yet. I haven't faced Trout. I faced most of the guys that like. I yeah, faced most of the guys that are have been like really good hitters. Right. So, like Ted Williams would be. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good right. one. This is, this uh, we we know you're not going to strike out. Up. Yeah, we know you're not going to strike out AJ Pollock again. So, well, I'm glad you didn't <laughs> say AJ Pollock. Because we know that ain't gonna happen again. It's already happened, so I, it, it defeats the purpose of the question. Exactly. So, exactly. So enjoy it because it's the only time it's gonna happen. Oh it's gosh, happen. I see a couple more in September just because you were talking shit. Um, go to cereal. Maybe. I've been wrong before. What was the question? <laughs> go to cereal. We all been wrong before. I've been wrong playing. Yeah, exactly. Not me. Shut up. Go to <clears throat> cereal, Jay. Go to cereal. Oh my god. Um, Apple Jacks or cinnamon toast crunch. Okay, that that's more respectable. Apple Jacks though. What Apple Jacks fuck? is great with chocolate milk. Ugh. Really? I would not expect that. I don't, like I'm not chocolate. gonna. It's like, uh, it's, like a, it. it's like a dessert. It's an apple cinnamon like chocolate pie. Like, what? what? I like, I like, I'm a, I'm a huge, but see, this is the difference between me and most people, too. Most people are huge dessert people. All my desserts I normally eat are like fruit based. So, like, yeah, that's why. cakes, okay. like cheesecakes. Like, yeah, no. See, you know that's what I'm saying? I'm not, a huge, I'm not a huge chocolate person. Anymore. I just got off of it like randomly. Me either. It was like, so, like, I'm a huge fruit person. Like, instead of eating desserts, like, I'll go eat and a Oreos bowl. on my shit. I'll go, eat, like, a bowl. I'll go eat a bowl of fruit with like honey on it instead. Like, yeah, well, that's huh? why we look the way we do, and he yeah, looks make the way us feel he... fatter than we are, Jay. Thanks, appreciate yeah. that. I'm just no, like, my body just my body just started hating it. Like I, I used right. to eat desserts all the time, and then like it just slowly happened because like I stopped drinking milk because I don't know if you ever remember if you remember Brett Jackson by chance, lefty for the Cubs first rounder in ten, I think 2010 or 11. He shredded, like looked like he should have been a Greek god or something. Like, right, right. Like shredded, and I was like, we were talking one day because he would be talking about his like eating habits and stuff. I was like, how do you look like this every day? He's like, and he didn't work out a ton. He's like, it's because mm-hmm. of what I eat. I talked to him. He's like, he's like, you realize we're the only mammals that like drink milk after we're born, like after we're done nursing. And I'm like, yep. What? He's like, yeah. Think about it. Like we really are. <laughs> and so right. like this because like we like we drink so much after we're like after we're done nursing because like the cows and stuff that the government wants us to drink that like your body just builds up like an immunity to it. Mm-hmm. So like once I stopped drinking milk for that long and stuff, like drinking milk right now, like I'm in the bathroom for 45 minutes. Bro. Like, right. Not, oh like, yeah. I'm not, that's I'm not why I drink almond I'm not, milk. Not, almond milk. Uh, me too. That's I drink right, almond right. milk. Like if I'm eating cereal now, almond. like I can't right. yeah, of course. regular milk. And it pisses me off too. Nope. Because there's never almond milk anywhere you really need almond milk at. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll be sitting there. I'm like, I don't know. It's cereal. In California, yeah, there is. <laughs> right? Maybe not. Maybe not down south, but in California, they're oh, all yeah, about California. that shit. They wouldn't have regular milk out here, probably. 
Yeah, yeah. coconut milk, also almond milk, oat milk. milk. You got milk. so many options. Cashew milk. Oh, yeah. yeah, you got it. Cashew milk. Goat the milk. Only thing is, Four, there's five. no good ice cream from that. Like, you can, like, because I, I fuck with almond milk heavy. Oh, but, bullshit. like, if there's ben ice cream has vegan milk, it's options. No. Yeah, they have vegan options. They have trash. vegan ice cream. So I, I don't mess with it's it. I'm normally just go gelato or whatever. Respectable. Go to karaoke song. Don't sing karaoke. Can't sing. Refuse to. <laughs> refuse hey, to say okay but you have, you have to, to. If the gun is to time. your head the gun I'm is only, to your head you I'm have only, to i've only done karaoke i think like three times and that's because i was in japan and it's huge there and i think i was probably blackout drunk when i did okay so, i was gonna say so what were you, you have singing? six seven cocktails in you what song are you singing I'm not singing. Whatever's on there, really. Like literally, like I'll probably if, if there's one song, I'll probably go Usher. Um, stop oh, bangers. You can just stop there. Probably, probably nice. almost any Usher song, just about that. I, mm. I think of like if there's one on there, like I would probably. Right. Go. You got a bad by Usher. You're singing it. You're killing it. Ooh, if, I, if I kill it, <laughs> haha, like I'm good to go. For <laughs> I'm not. I'm, 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 Forget about pitching American Idol. Here I like, come. Yeah. Like, you like, remember that one time I was in karaoke and killed it. <laughs> That's it. Can you do it again? Yeah. No, I'm good. That was nah, it. That was nah. the one long performance know. you got. <laughs> you better record that shit. Uh, no. <laughs> if you could switch sports, what what sport would you go to? Basketball. Basketball. Can you dunk? Yes. I was better at basketball in high school than I was at baseball. Really? I had more scholarships to go play basketball in college than I did baseball. Who's your Who's your professional team? Who's your favorite team? Who's your favorite player right now in the NBA? I don't go. I don't go. I don't go teams anymore. As an athlete, I don't go teams. I just go players because just respecting games and seeing that. Like, okay, who's your so now? Who's your who's your top three right now? Who's your favorite player? My favorite player is too. If you okay, so we we're we're guessing who your favorite player is. I'll uh, give you two guesses. Are they? they so, you're talking, about, you're talking about current, right? We're not talking about yeah, like, my current favorite player. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go. Has to be Alex Caruso. I mean, who else? The else bald assassin. Be? Yeah. Yeah, bald eagle, baby. Yeah, fly, okay, fly, so you, fly. Grew, you, you grew he's up on, he's in on the South same Carolina, team as Caruso. Correct? Now or before? La- Lonzo Ball. Are you a Lonzo? Wait, what? No. No Lonzo. way that your Lonzo is your favorite. No chance, Zach Levine. No. I don't really know anyone else. That's, that's okay. Oh, I forgot Caruso got traded. I forgot he did. Oh, so we're talking about Lakers. So you're a LeBron guy? Oh, so you're LeBron. All LeBron all day. Okay, that makes way more sense. I'll, I'll back I was like, if you're a fucking like, Lonzo the, Ball fan. The, I, 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 I love Lonzo's, Lonzo's game. I, I think Lonzo I got the short end of the stick. Right. I think he got the short like his Like, they didn't do anything with his shooting in the beginning. It's like, that man, like, to be a point guard and be that tall, he needed to be more physical, and he just needed to shoot the ball. Like, in college, you can get away with that shot. But, like, in the pros, like, it's hard. Like, you know what I mean? And right. they, they knew it, yeah. and they didn't start yeah. doing it. Like, they should have, like, told him that, like, in college like hey the whole summer we know that you're doing this but like you're not shooting like just take them to the gym like hey shoot 100 shots with your shot if you don't make more than 40 of these you're changing this <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't it's making fun like that you know what i mean like he wasn't making yeah. 40 of those with his hand in his face because like he was bringing the ball too low i mean again i'm right. not a professional basketball player he was comfortable but like you, you see it's not working like yeah. for me i'm like if i'm gonna win a championship and get paid more money I'm gonna go fix this. Like that's just me. I mean, right. he he made out okay. His contract in Chicago, he made yeah, but it, he changed his, his shot his, too, though. <laughs> yeah, but his, yeah, he did. Lamelo, <laughs> Lamelo is way more exciting year, than like. Lonzo. Lamelo's way more fun to watch than Lonzo. Oh, 100%, yeah. They've all they've always said he was Lonzo, supposed to be the best one, though. Lonzo, yeah, Lonzo I mean, they're two different is, kinds of players. Yeah, yo, hundred percent. Lonzo's the good student like classical like hey i'm gonna get everybody involved i'm the general blah blah, blah. mel was like you know yeah. i got swag Fuck and i can get the ball, ball. Yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah and i can shoot so i broke his ass and dropped <laughs> yeah. 50 yeah so if if you could dunk on anybody in the nba today who would it be oh today all oh, i was gonna say the kid named matumbo but today oh, oh if it's today dwight howard Sticking with the Lakers. Actually, you know once who again I really a Laker. Dunk on? Once again, you know who Laker, I want Dwight to dunk Howard. on more than anybody else on the planet? Kevin Garnett. Hmm. There's some history there. My mom hates Kevin Garnett. Okay. <laughs> so well, you would posterize why, him and, and stand. Why up. does your mom I would, hate? I would, I would, I would try to window on Kevin Garnett. 
<laughs> why why does your mom hate KG? I'm curious. Um, because like he's he's from South Carolina. KG is actually from South Carolina. Went to lived in Malden, South Carolina. Him and another guy back in the day that played basketball at UNC, Shimon Williams. They did basketball camps back in the day all the time, blah, blah, blah. We were there for one. Me, two of my cousins, and my mom, we were standing there, like, standing right beside Shimon. Like, my um, my dad actually has Shimon <laughs> work at his, like, community center now. Like, Shimon does mm. basketball lessons there. And so we were there trying to, get, like, literally right beside him, trying to get autographs and stuff. And, like, they pretty much just pushed us out of the way. And my mom, like, was, like, follow him down or whatever. And they were like trying to ignore him or whatever. Mom was like, you're really going to treat these kids like that. And that's when he finally like turned around, like at his car, didn't stop till he got to the car and was like, yeah, I'll sound like a couple. It sounded like three of them. And then hopped in the car and did. So my mom's like, damn, she was like, if you ever become, she's like, never do that. Like I saw an autograph for like, I saw an like 30 minutes before like most games if I had a chance. So. I feel like, like we, but, like, that's why I hate Raul Mondesi. And now he's in jail. So things worked out. <laughs> i finally we finally did it tyler i, I i've been your taxes I've been, I've been asking like hoping for when, when we asked the question of who, uh, who would you rather hit a home run or, or strike out on i was always hoping that someone would want to hit a home run because of that exact situation like oh this guy was mean like i i hated this guy so i just really want to hit it off him yeah but we got it for a dunk, and i'm happy I and mean, my, my lifelong dream my podcast dream has come true today I got, I got, go. I got I two more questions for you. <laughs> I got two more questions for you. And one, yeah. just because, okay. like I said, no one ever is like in the realm of, you know, what we're thinking. What was your, your high school jam? What were you jamming oh, to yes. in high school? What was, you know, what was on the iPod or maybe <laughs> even watch Yeah. DMX. 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 Yeah. DMX. 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 Jay-Z. Um, was it Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer by DMX? That was Christmas time. <laughs> during Christmas time, right, right, right. That was the that Christmas, was Christmas DMX. We during Christmas because DMX, <laughs> yeah, is in, yeah. DMX was in South. He lived in South Carolina too. Interesting really fact. interesting. Yeah, I saw him I saw one time at the Museum of Tolerance when he was, when he was flying older, a, flying a plane. When, when I was, he was fifth older, grade. yeah, when he was older, like he was in South Carolina a good bit. Like my one of my friends was one of my friends is actually was a DJ for the Rough Riders. Gosh. Well, so yeah. history. So um like I would see DMX was on there. Um Jay-Z for sure. High school, in the high school, I think I had Chingy on there. Chingy. Chingy? Damn. Like, no, for, that's the name I haven't school, heard. I had Chingy on there. I had Chingy on there. Um, <laughs> let's see. Ooh. What was I writing? I had that right album. There? Juvenile Hot Boys back in the day. Mm. Wheezy, Wheezy. Ooh, he said that, it. He that was, said that was, it. That was good. That was good Wheezy back in the day, too. That was that was like Carters That's, were coming out then. Dude. Right. So that's the Carters. Okay. That was the Carter era. <laughs> yeah. I was not a big Lil Wayne guy, but I, I fuck with juvenile. I was, I was a heavy. huge so Lil Wayne heavy. fan before he started coming out with the Carters. Like when he him and Cash Money, Cash Money Millionaires did a song called Shine, and his verse on that I remember Shine. Was so Shine was sick. And, but when he changed up his flow and his voice, dude, Lil yeah, Wayne. The Carters, oh, the, Carter, the Carters were classics. Like the last, I think the last Carter was meh. But like the other ones before that, like he went in on one, two, and three for sure. Like those are like classic albums. And then all his mixtapes, all the DJ drama mixtapes are absolutely stupid. Mm. Like and then No Ceilings was stupid too. Like no, like No Ceilings two was awesome. All his yeah, freestyle mixtapes, all the, way, all way the mixtapes were awesome. What? Just too uh, much lean, dude. That's what he started. Mu- uh, 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 like it just it too much for me, dude. I can't do it. Dude, like <clears throat> that, that like New Orleans hip hop, like New Orleans rap, like Cash Money and Hot Boys. That shit was sick. But Lil Wayne, how I'm, 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 I'm all over it. over it. Yeah, like hey, Wayne. Wayne. How fast is Atlanta, bro? Relax. I understand that, but it's from the south. You can't just pick a certain city. Come on. <laughs> like Wayne, like yes, he started. Can. He started getting a little. He started doing trying to do too much. Right. You know what I mean? Just like like Snoop's you know, doing everything. Like Snoop's doing everything. Snoop is doing everything. You talk about somebody that's doing everything. Snoop has done everything on the planet. Right. I'm yeah. like impressed by how much this what? man has done. He has. There's nothing he hasn't done. 
Can we, can we yeah, say something some, really quick? Some I, I've been us. thinking about this about what Snoop. Just really SCU. quick. R- real quick for 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 for, for, for the I want to meet Snoop. Like, I feel like Snoop should be in the yeah. goat conversation because, like, like we, sure. we we do this thing we do this thing where we don't appreciate, you know, um, people that are still around, right? Bro, like, I, if I, some, I mean, God forbid, God, God God forbid, like like he he were to go during that East Coast West Coast thing, we'd be talking about how, he, how he's the goat right up there with Tupac and Biggie. So, I think we need to put some respect on Snoop's name. Close. He's in the goat conversation. Not even close. Snoop, Snoop, I I ride with Snoop. I don't think he's in the he's, goat conversation. I, I don't think he's in the doggy style. Come on. Doggy style was classic, though. God, you can't, you can't, you can't not. Nas, Nas is a Nas is a top three. Nas is, a, Nas no, is in the conversation. Yeah, if you with that, I'm just saying, Snoop, Snoop should be in. If there. you have a Mount Rushmore of like great MCs, like just like it depends on like literally like what you're gonna base all of them on. If you're gonna base them off of just lyrics, flow, like there's so many different categories. You go like everything, like count, like both. what they did for the culture and everything. So Talk original, Biggie, Snoop. Because, like, come on. Pac and Biggie, and you right. got to put Snoop up there because Snoop's you been with to. the culture the whole time. Pac, Biggie, Snoop, you can put Jay-Z in there, and then you can put... Right. God, I'm trying to think of who you would Jay-Z put. Jay-Z over Nas? Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. 100%. Bro. Think about what Maybe Jay-Z's done go, for the culture. Don't listen like, to Ether overall again, body bro. Work, overall <laughs> body of work. He killed overall him. Body of work. <laughs> overall body of work. Nas hasn't done as much, like, for the culture, Nas just Jay-Z dropped has. an album last week, and it's no, but great. I'm saying he hasn't done as much for the culture. I'm saying overall, like everything, like not just lyrics, albums, all that stuff. Yeah. Look at what Jay Z's done for everything. Mm. That man's with Beyonce, that, exactly. So he's good. That, that's the goat. Let Nas, that let man Nas, the baddest chick in the league. <laughs> so Nas, the baddest bitch in, in the game, back. rocking my chain. Come yeah. on, dude. Well, Legend. Nas had back. Khalees. That's like a D list no, Beyonce no. kind of. No, 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 no. Okay. She was crazy too. All right. Yes. <laughs> last, <laughs> last question. <laughs> last question, because I feel like <laughs> this is gonna spiral into what we just talked about. What are you jamming now? Young Dolph, Guap Dad. I got Young Dolph actually just came out with an album yesterday. I'm waiting for this new Kanye to drop, just like everybody else. Kanye's really pissing me yeah, off. Yeah, I don't know when I'm waiting for Do the we new know Drake when to drop that's gonna too, happen yet. He's not helping me either. Like mm. my my playlist right now, like it like my pregame playlist right now is pretty. It's I think on the pl- on the pregame it's Uzi, Drake, Young Dolph. Uh, actually, I'm looking at my playlist right now. I can tell you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see what we got in here. Um, I'm just too old to l- l- get new shit. I'm just I'm so in my but old. See, ways, I, like dude. Uzi Uzi's not bad. Like I like the way like. He's got good vibes. Like I go by my vibes. Like I'll change my, my whole playlist depending on how I feel it. Like right, right, vibe. right. You know what I mean? Like I'll like I'll be listening to a song, but I like that vibe. I'm just gonna switch the whole vibe to like whatever this person's riding with right now. You know what I mean? Right, right, like, right. See, as far not, as getting ready for a game, I'm not. My first three are Two Chains, Young Dolph, Plies, Future, Travis Scott. I know a couple. Then of it those. goes. Then it goes. Meek Mill, <laughs> Jeezy. A couple of those words. Meek Mill, Jeezy. Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick. There's a lot of two, there's a lot of two chains on here. A lot of Travis Scott. Yo Gotti. A lot of future. Yeah, speaking of someone out. who needs to drop yeah. an album, dude, it's been four years since Kendrick dropped him. Four <sighs> years. Dude, I'm not I, I can't tell good, Kendrick though. because that man, he he he's good at what he does. Monster. He's good at what he does. Just yeah, like just like J. Cole. Real. Just like J. Cole. J. Cole is just man did it. Right. Jermaine. Yeah. Jermaine Cole did. <laughs> I just want to give a recommendation <laughs> like, here, real quick. I was, I was, like, like those, like that dude's like Instagram about like when J Cole drops an album is like on right. point. It's like after I listened to that whole album, I was like, <laughs> we got like, what, we what, what was like, that thing? It was like we we, we got to yeah. figure out how we gotta get, get down murders. We got to get our lives together. I've never <laughs> dressed like this. Yeah, you're like <laughs> Jermaine. <laughs> Cool. And he's from yeah, North that, Carolina. That, he's right. He's right up the street from me too. Fayetteville's like, oh, like, dude, that, two that, hours that from the kid. So like, you know what I mean? Funny. Yeah, so, I, I love his shit. Oh, Twenty One Savage too. Will, Savage is on there. Um, I like Twenty One Savage. I will Savage. say, I what I listened to the new Migos album. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of Migos, but the first track on the new album. The whole sample is a Temptation song. It's Papa Was a Rolling Stone by The Temptations. Oh, they killed it. Temptations, dude. So that I got Migos got story. more respect. 
story, funny story about Migos. I was on stage with them. And for my New Year's, my, my New Year's, I went to New Year's in San Diego in 2016, 2017, like New Year's. Migos on stage. I was on stage with them. Like my table was on stage with Migos. Saw Clay Thompson uh, that night too. The only, the only thing I, oh, I, I got to that is I was on stage with Afro Man. Palm that's, 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 that's a good, good one too, though. Yeah, but then I got contact high. I mean, that dude, it was so much fucking weed in there. Like that's I can't. What, I, I can't. want like that's what I'm saying. I just like I want to go hang out with my my group of people. That I want to hang out with just for like one day right now would probably be Snoop, Wiz, Wap Dad, and and myself. <laughs> hey, my, I want to hang out with myself. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Jay, man, thank you so much. I know we we, we killed you on time, man. This is spo- oh, you know good. supposed to be quick, and, and 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 we really appreciate you coming on, man. Uh, this is this is great for us, and yeah, for sure. Like I said, like once you read the article, let me know. We'll, we'll hop back on here and do something. Like, off days, I'm just trying to chill anyway. I've roamed around San Fran for half the day already, so I'm we'll back just come down to the stadium, <laughs> hang out with you, you know, throw some balls on the field, whatever. Yeah. You know, just get yeah, just let us into your real. life. That's that's <laughs> that's that's good enough, right? Yeah. yeah man you know i hope i hope you had a good time i hope you had a, uh, you sure. know had some fun hope to do this again soon man and um yeah man thank thank you so much for coming on no problem thank you guys and thank you guys so much for listening to this special uh podcast we ask that you please subscribe and like to us on your favorite podcasting platform as well as youtube follow us on instagram benches clear podcast and on twitter benches clear p and tiktok benches cleared uh thank you guys for listening we'll still talk some baseball with you on Friday for a regular episode. See you then.